Hi, my name is Dave. I'm with Enduro Engineering and uh, today we're going to go over the process to install a set of hot grips on a motorcycle. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is remove the old grips. Now there are two ways to do that depending on if you want to reuse the grips. I mean if you don't just take a, a razor knife, slit them lengthwise and just peel them off of there. If you do, however, want to reuse your grips, the best way to do that, because um, they're usually stuck pretty good, is to take a smaller flat blade screwdriver, lift the grip up, be careful when you do this because you don't want to go through the grip, then take a lubricant like uh, WD-40 or 6-in-1, shoot into the in between the, the actual grip and the handlebar just a little bit doesn't take a lot uh, you know move the screwdriver around a little it'll actually allow the lubricant to get all the way around the handlebar usually that'll be enough to break the bond and you can just slide the grip off. If you've ever had heated grips on a bike before you'll notice that probably the throttle side would get warmer than the, than the left side. The reason for that is when you when you apply this uh, heat element directly to the aluminum handlebar what happens is the aluminum handlebar when it's cold out um, sucks just most of the heat away from this heat element. What we always do here at Enduro Engineering is we take a Boyson uh, flex grip which uses a plastic tube much like the throttle tube. Uh, once you put this flex grip on this handlebar you've got a plastic insulation set up the same way you do on the, on the throttle side. So the left grip will stay much warmer in this case. Now, the way these heating elements attach is uh, they've got a sticky side to them, just like a sticker. Peel away this uh, protective coating. You're going to want to be careful which way you install this on the, on the actual bar itself. Because on the left side you're going to want the wiring pretty much on the underside down here so you can uh, tie into the into the uh, kill switch wiring and run that down behind the headlight mask or the number plate, whichever you have. Leave enough slack that it's not uh, stressing the connection up here. Use a little contact cleaner. And now on the throttle side, since you're going to be twisting the throttle, you're going to want to have the wires in a position somewhat like that. You're going to make a little loop so that they have room to, to uh, move a little bit of slack there so they're not tight. If, if you run them too tight, you're going to bust them when you try to turn the throttle. Use uh, any kind of grip glue you want or whatever you've had success with over the years. Uh, what I like to do is put a little, little glue towards the end of the, of the handlebar work it around some
and then I'll put a little more glue inside the inner part of the, the uh, grip itself. And when I slide this on, the actual glue on the handlebar will slide this way and the glue I've just put in the grip will be forced back the other way. So you should get a fairly even amount of glue on there. You're going to have to get the, the grip in the position you want to run it fairly quickly. Move the whole throttle assembly further out because I don't want to get glue between the throttle tube and the actual handlebar. Okay, now we're ready to wire this thing up. Um, don't forget to, you know, move the throttle back into position. I had it moved out when we when we put this grip on. You don't want to move that back into your desired position and tighten it down. Make sure everything turns freely, doesn't stick. If, if you got any issue at all, you need to pull the complete housing off and uh, get inside of the throttle tube and clean it out. What I have done also is put a couple of zip ties along the route I want these wires to take and I've given the wires just enough slack so that they won't be pulled and, and break. You don't want too much slack or you don't want it up here or down here because it's going to catch brush or whatnot and it, it may jerk the wires right out of the element. So now we're ready to go behind the number plate. So I'll go ahead and pull that off. Each one of these grips has a uh, two sides. One of them is going to go to ground and the other is going to go to power. So all you really need to do is take one wire from each grip connect it like so this can be your positive or ground connection whatever you want it to be I'm going to make this one the ground connection and I'm going to take a little crimp on connector and attach it to these wires. Okay, now that we've got that uh, piece crimped on there, we'll go ahead and ground it. It needs to be ground to the uh, chassis somewhere. This resistor somewhere on a aluminum part of the motorcycle, aluminum or steel. I mean it needs to go someplace where um, the heat is not going to melt any plastic or rubber because this will get very hot um, when you're running on the low setting. So um, you need to glue it down. I've already put some silicone on the underside of that and uh, zip tied it down until the silicone dries then we'll take the zip ties off and so now we'll have to wire the resistor into the circuit and basically this is going to be the supply wire for the resistor wire and the non-resistor wire this Y wire basically one side has a resistor and one side doesn't this is the low side of the circuit and this is the high side. So what we're going to do is I'm, I've made a connector. I'm going to tap into the yellow power wire from the stator. It's where we're going to be drawing our power. And this is going to go through the switch that comes in the kit 
you'll put the stator power up to the center terminal of the on off switch low high on off just like that now you're going to trace the resistor to a female spade connector the one that comes off the resistor is for the low side and when we when we uh, turn it on the low then what it actually does inside the switch is it internally connects these two terminals so you're going to want to put the low side onto the terminal that's actually underneath the high side uh, mark when you s flip it to the high position internally it will connect power to this side which is the side of the uh, Y connector that doesn't have the resistor in it which means you get full power and that'll be high these two wires here that we crimp together are the two hot wires one for the left side grip and one for the right side grip they have to be connected to the wire the Y wire the one where it splits off that will give them power from the switch you just make sure the tape covers all the metal on the connector and you'll be fine now we've just got a mess of wire here that we need to bundle up and uh, secure try and catch as much of the wire as you can zip tie it to something where it won't move around a lot and it's less likely to break that way looks good I'm gonna put the number plate back on Okay, since this bike is going to have a headlight on it anyway, we're going to mount the switch into the uh, headlight mask here. There's already a hole here. You just have to enlarge it slightly, and the switch fits right in there. Won't, won't, uh, won't be in any harm's way, tucked in and out of the way. Just remember to plug your wires back into it after you mount it, and uh, you're Heated grip installation should be finished. Thanks for watching. If you have questions regarding this or any product from Enduro Engineering, please feel free to email us at sales at enduroeng.com or give us a call at 517-393-2421. And thank you for purchasing products from Enduro Engineering.